Good evening, I'm Shogh Mohammed and this is the 7 o'clock news. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, received at the Ministry's General Court today the Under Secretary of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation of the Italian Republic, Giuliano Picci. The Minister expressed the Kingdom's pride in its friendly relations with the Italian Republic and their continuous developments at various levels. He also stressed the importance of continuing the exchange of official visits between the two countries to enhance joint coordination and cooperation on various issues and achieve common interests. Picci expressed pride in meeting with the minister and stressed the keenness of the Italian Republic to further develop relations with the Kingdom of Bahrain in various fields, wishing the Kingdom continued progress and prosperity. The Bahrain Institute for Strategic International and Energy Studies, Dirasat, organized a key conference in the presence of prominent academic figures and researchers specialized in thoughts, history, and culture. The conference shed light on the Al Khalifa rule and their sovereignty on the Qatari Peninsula. Dirasat Board of Trustees Chairman Dr. Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa said so the conference will focus on an important historical phase of the Arabian Gulf region, that's the Al Khalifa rule and their sovereignty on the Qatari Peninsula since the establishment of the Al Khalifa state in the Al Zubara in 1762. The conference will also highlight the success of the Al Khalifa rule in achieving trade, scientific, and humanitarian prosperity, which turned the Al Zubara into a thriving hub and a beacon of culture and progress. The conference will focus on three main topics, Al Zubara, capital of Al Khalifa and the Qatari Peninsula and the islands of Bahrain, the rebellion on the Al Khalifa legitimacy in the Qatari Peninsula and the Qatari invasion of the Daibal in 1986. The conference will highlight the continued acts of hostility perpetrated by the Qatari regime against the Kingdom of Bahrain as well as blatant interference in its internal affairs by supporting terrorist groups, selective naturalization and instigative media. The Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities organized today a visit to the Khamis Mosque for the group participating in the 42nd World Heritage Committee meeting that is hosted by the Kingdom of Bahrain until the 4th of July. The authority briefed the participants on the history of the mosque, which is one of the oldest mosques in the Arab world. The mosque is known for its unique twin minarets, which is considered an attraction for people inside and outside the kingdom. The event also included a visit to the visitor's center of Al Khamis Mosque, which contains many of the artifacts discovered in this site and information about the importance of the history of the mosque. This is the one of the Islamic, important Islamic monuments in Bahrain. So it's very important to bring our guests here in Bahrain in this, uh, in the 42 uh, World Heritage Committee, to bring him, to bring them here in the in this site and to explain them about the history and the importance and the value of the site, and uh, to to get them here in this very special museum. It is small, but it's very rich with the information, with the artifacts. We explain to them about everything here in this, about the, the artifacts, the gravestones, the, the Islamic description or Indian description, which is exhibited here. Of course, having a meeting of world heritage in a, in a country allows us not only to do our job uh, well, but also to know about the um, all the uh, country and the people. Yeah, we were invited, uh, all the members, to different houses, uh, in my case to the palace, and we managed to share uh, the experiences. I think that was a wonderful idea, quite unusual, uh, to be open the homes of persons here and allow us to understand. For us, it's a different world, especially in my case, coming from Latin America, being uh, not a connoisseur of the region. So it has been really, really a wonderful experience. It's a very fantastic and great experience in Bahrain. This is my first time to come to Bahrain, Manama. It's a nice city. I love uh, your property for the, this one most. Uh, in, my, uh, in my understanding, this is the, the old one, the first one most in uh, Bahrain, yeah, right? So it's a very, I'm very lucky to be here to visit your properties.